everybody, yes it's Pythia and welcome back to another short tutorial on the Place channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a settings GUI or a cafe settings GUI. This is for the cafe series. If you have been watching, if you haven't been watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm turned on post notifications. Try and hit 100,000 this summer. Um, but yeah, so going straight into this. Now, if you uh, have been paying attention to the series, we recently left off with the cafe codes and then we went to the cafe register system. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the settings. Now, there's a lot of more tutorials coming, so um, all the links will be in the description. But uh, feel free to check out Tigo's profile. He's the one who's been making this. He's also in the Discord. He's a fan and friend of mine, and um, I'm appreciative and so grateful that he's been making these videos um, and helping me bring this out to you guys. So go give him a follow and go talk to him in the Discord because he's a great programmer, and the last video was crazy. Um, but yeah, so all the links in the description. Now you're gonna grab this this model right here. Now I wanted to mention, as I've been mentioning in the last few videos, I don't know why, but Roblox has been taking down my models. So um, just if that happens, please let me know. Either way, like I was mentioning, it's in the Discord, so you can come to the Discord and grab the model if through our cafe uh, channel, which is awesome. But um, yeah, so going into this, once you get the model. Um, depending on how you do this, if you have model and want to insert it, or if you just have it in your toolbox, um, so you can go into your toolbox and it's going to be the cafe setting system. Of course, there is a readme. Now, when I was mentioning, you need to watch the other videos. That is because we have certain things and hierarchies. So of course, starting off, we have a readme in here, uh, kind of talk about some things if you want to go into there, but workspace assets. So this is going to go in here. It's going to be called sounds. This is a music player. Um, I think it's music. So awesome. Um, and then we have starter player scripts. Um, this is an icon handler. So this is the new one again. So we always have a bunch of new ones. So um, yeah, as you can tell, we're going to be updating these every single time. So basically just replacing it every time. Super easy. Um, and if you weren't here in my last video, uh, I'll just mention again, uh, we kind of last less off with codes and then we had coming soon. But this does the uh, settings GUI. Um, and you should have your top bar handler in here already. Now, um, going off of that, this is going to be in the top bar UIs. So we're going to put this in the starter UI and go into top bar. And that is the starter GUI. That is that for that. Okay, so um, I'm going to just like go in here and just play it because I don't know if it's already configured. I think I might have to look at something. But yeah, so we have that. We have the settings. And there we go. So we have the music volume. So you can turn down the music volume. Oh yeah, I did make this UI, okay? It looks pretty good, right? <laughs> so um, it's the UI right here, pretty simple. We have music volume, and we actually have S uh, SFX volume. So this is for, uh, I think just other things like, uh, uh, like close buttons or like like clicking and all that stuff. I don't remember, but he figured out something. I don't go look in a second here. And then we have overheads. Now for me, this is probably gonna just do a wait for child. I actually don't have the overheads right now in my game, but this will turn off all overheads on the player. So that's very nice. Um, and then we have hide other players. So you can turn that on as well. Um, so this is just like a few like fun little things for you guys. Uh, you don't like, you can use them if you want. You don't have to use them, but uh, very simple. Um, and yeah, your game should somewhat look like mine, but you should have overheads. You should have a better leaderboard. All those things. I actually probably should import those into my game. I haven't done that in a minute. Um, but yeah, going into that, uh, I call handler super easy. We don't need to worry about that. The only thing we need to look at is the settings GUI. So this is the settings controller. Oh, uh, we have the volume range toggle, hover skill. So don't worry about any of this. Um, and this is kind of, yeah, update volume, SFX. Okay, yeah, so control data dot sounds. So I think it has to do something with uh, sounds and SFX. He'll probably figure that out. He probably has that already triggered. I don't know which exactly it is. Um, music yeah so it's other sounds if it's okay oh, that's pretty cool um, so we have a hover effects um, handle dragging um, toggle button so overhead yep this is where it talks about overhead now character finds your child head and then we grab the default bar with GUI now it might not work if it doesn't work you have to double check because your output should say if it's um, can't find the head or can't find the overhead UI if they can't find the overhead UI it's probably in your humanoid real part but I'm pretty sure I changed it to head because of some issues that were happening with these overheads. Um, and then this, yeah, on and off talks about the toggling. And then um, hide players. So this does the players um, hiding. Um, 
function for that and the close button everything like that so pretty simple now this is actually the main gui so you can customize this how you like um i had added made it as great as i could um this is the label frame you know you got the settings easy stuff you have the second frame which is just like holding everything so this is a scrolling frame so in here you have all your stuff now um yeah i mean you can mess with this however you want just be careful with the volume bar um and then like the hold button yeah so it looks like i did do this right and you figured it out that's good um percentage and then the text label um and you can just customize that but the general of course general wise um if you do make something just go down here and then uh where did i go or where is that position at actually it's probably better you just go like this and then position wise you just uh i don't know we'll go like go here. oh that's that's x that's y oops and then you go like five let's say well now it's down here but you can go down to like uh let's see what was the last one four three <laughs> and then uh we can go like nine okay like that and then you know you make something new you can call it like i don't know what you'd want to do if you want to do shadows um you can do shadows and then you can go into here you can change the text label and then go to here and you can like shadows and then of course when it comes to making more settings that's where you're going to go into the controller um and then it really just depends so um if you look at overhead control so this is a function that does the overheads uh toggle button this is a new toggle button um so overheads and then if toggle blah 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 hired players it's the same thing close line then you should as well signs um hide players scrolling frame find first child toggle so hide players button so you'd be like um same thing you go local you could actually just copy that whole thing but yeah you just go local uh shadows i don't know let's go with shadows button equals scrolling frame and then oh sorry guys uh scrolling frame find first child and we're gonna go uh shadows and then we're gonna go and scrolling frame uh dot what's hide players oh yeah it's like shadows again find first child and then it's a button right so we're doing a toggle just toggle all right so yeah this goes inside there grabs the toggle and then once it gets that it's basically the same thing from here so um yeah if well you don't have to do that you want to you want to follow this one right here so if toggle button um and then it, that's where you go uh, and do the mouse button click and then shadow wise i mean there's a lot of things you can do with that i would just go search up a tutorial but that's pretty much it i mean i i could go in depth with that but i just want to leave it here for you guys because this is supposed to allow you to customize it and do however you like um but yeah um so and then once you're done make sure you just uh and yet you like I guys like I was saying you can kind of go through here and like change it and do whatever you need to um, if you want to make your scrolling from a little longer just go into here and go to canvas size um, it should allow you to you know mess around with that um, but yeah and then when you're done just make sure you uh, go into settings main and then uh, turn off visible no, it should just be it correct um, but yeah you guys I hope you did enjoy this little uh, short tutorial on the settings GUI um we have a lot more coming and like i said um in the end we will have a like full tutorial and a full kit um it might be like the please donate kit so we might make you guys pay for it just in the end but if you're watching all these videos and you're going through these things you'll have a full thing anyway. so um thank you for being here and watching this video and there are going to be more tutorials coming out next week i think i'm sticking this video this week if i'm going to be next week but yeah uh thank you guys and go talk to the team join the discord I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. See you soon.